In today's Leeds news, Premier League interest in Gorman, international players return and Leeds link with Brownhill returns. Hope you're all having a really good week so far. Uh, it is Wednesday, so the one a week. If you do like the channel, if you do like the video content and you want to help me and support the channel to grow, you can do so with two things, liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. We're heading towards 19,000 subscribers and it'll be great to get to 20 before Christmas. You can do so if you want to help us get there. You can do so by liking or subscribing to the videos. Right, that's it. Done. Let's move on. Let's talk about some interest. This, there's some interesting stories today. The international players returning, uh, the situation around some of them and that, how they're couple of weeks went and also some interest in some Leeds Academy players as well which which will be uh, might be of some concern to some Leeds players as well Leeds uh, the Yorkshire Evening Post have said that several Premier League clubs including Manchester City and Newcastle have a serious interest in Leeds United Academy prospect Finley Gorman I was contacted this week from somebody um, involved in the academy who told me that he believed that Finley Gorman to Manchester City was a done and dusted deal and the player would be leaving Leeds for, for Man City I have been unable to validate that story not to say that it wasn't true it's starting to look like it might be um, but as I couldn't validate it, I didn't want to put it out. This is the first time this week since then that this some information has started to come out around the player. Uh, the article claimed that both Manchester City and Newcastle are interested in signing the 15-year-old. Gorman has been a regular for the Legion United under-18 team this season as part of a stretch for him uh, and pushing him into higher uh, age groups. He has two goals and two assists already from the right teams and has been in fantastic form for those teams. There are some plenty of videos circulating around the internet of what Finley can do. He looks like a real talent for Leeds and one that Leeds will want to make sure they hang on to for as long as they can. According to this report though, Manchester City have already staged talks with Gorman around a move away from Leeds and to Manchester City because of the player's age compensation would be required and Manchester City have already this summer paid compensation for young players up to a million pounds per player already. That would be roughly what is being discussed here as well. I was told that that's the fee that was being touted around. It is a compensation more so than a transfer fee. Um, and it's going to be an interesting one to keep an eye on. It will be a real, real challenge for Leeds to keep Finley away from Manchester City and Newcastle given the money and the opportunities those clubs present to young players. But if Leeds can see off interest, they've got two absolute gems coming through the underage setup in Finley Gorman and Harry Gray as well. Leeds will want to try and hang on to them if they can. It's it's an unfortunate thing. If they're looking at players like Finley, they're probably looking at players like Harry as well. Leeds will need to try and keep hold of those players for as long as they can. And as I said, there are some reports circulating that the deal is actually already done, dusted and completed and Gorman will go to Manchester City, but it has not been confirmed. And as I said, I haven't been able to, ra to ratify or validate the information that I was given. So um, hence why I have haven't put it out earlier this week but um, we'll have to keep an eye on this uh, with a keen eye because this is a real talent 15 years of age he's only gone 15 he was 14 when he started the season with the under 18s playing four years above your age group is impressive even three years now at 15 is still impressive um, and doing really really well as well so we've got to keep an eye on that one. fingers crossed Leeds can hang on to Gorman uh, moving on to the international players and returning and Daniel Farke will be relieved that the international break is over and what appears to be a clean bill of health returning to Elland Road in terms of injuries wherever what he will be looking at was the players time and minutes during the last two weeks while they were away and who are in the best position to play when Leeds take on Norwich uh, this weekend we'll get more information from Farke in the press conference I believe the press conference on Thursday or Friday this week and we'll get more information then where players are returning uninjured some players minutes were managed and other players unfortunately minutes were not managed and um, Leeds will have to keep an eye on those if you go through the team the Welsh trio of Joe Road and Dan James and Ethan Ampadu um, all of their minutes were managed by Wales Dan James being primarily used as a substitute in their games but still I think he got three assists two against Gibraltar and one in another game as well so uh, a successful and effective um, international break for Dan James although his minutes were managed which Leeds will appreciate Joe Roden and Ethan Ampadu set out their first game of the international window and um, but were involved in the one yesterday so one game out of two is not bad it will give them some bit of a rest but Ethan Ampadu is playing a serious amount of minutes at the moment as well um, and uh, Charlie Creswell for England 21s he scored in that game as well which is great for him Glenn Kamara had a mixed bag yesterday um, getting a bit of stick from the Finnish media, uh, 11 misplaced passes in, in that game, only 53 in total, I think he had 53 touches in total, and was given a 6.4 rating by the Finnish media, so he'll want to bounce back from that and rekindle his Leeds form when he comes back 
uh, this week. Also, should be pointed out, Archie Gray is the biggest concern that Leeds will have. He played all three of the England under-19s games, which probably wasn't necessary, but he did play them anyway. Uh, Ilya Groove had a weird, very strange, unusual window. He's uh, on the back of six defeats in a row for Hungary, so he fails to pick up a win in that game as well. Um, so the big thing for Farka will be these players and how many minutes they played and manage them. Archie Gray, as I said, will be the biggest concern to make sure that he's prepped in a, in a reasonable position going into the weekend. Leads have more options in that position anyway. So if Gray does sit out, you know, you've got a, a possibility of um, Luke Aylen going at a right back. You've got Sam Byram. You've got, you know, there's other options there if we have to. And uh, midfield, you've got Glenn Kamara and, and Grove there as well. So there are options. We'll keep an eye and see what Daniel Farka has to say towards the back end of this week. Uh, and then moving on to the first starting of rumours. We saw a, a goalkeeper, Thronquist, linked last week with Leeds. Now other names are starting to come as we start to get in towards the middle of October, heading towards November, December for the January transfer. And we'll start hearing an awful lot more names mentioned in the next couple of weeks. Uh, on the back of Angus Kinnear's comments to the sp- supporters advisory board in, board in his September meeting, where he did say there would be a transfer fund available for Daniel Farka, albeit they would prefer to use the loan market. But he did say if a player was needed, there was funds there available for Farka if they needed it. Um, now names have started to pop up and, and a number of players' uh, names have started to appear or in this case uh, reappear. According to Team Talk, big pinch of salt because we're back into that territory again. Uh, they are suggesting that Leeds will rekindle their interest in Burnley attacking midfielder Josh Brownhill. Uh, Team Talk say that Leeds will look for a natural number 10 in the January window and they believe Brownhill is a player that Leeds will revisit and have a look at again. Wolves, Everton, Leicester and Middlesbrough were all said to be interested in Brownhill in the summer window and Burnley managed to hang on to the player then. However, uh, Brownhill's current contract does expire at the end of this season, from what I've read, and and a pre-contract agreement could be uh, put in place between Brownhill and teams outside of England. You can't negotiate it within the same um, structure, so within England you can't do it. Uh, but a reduced fee could be something Leeds could look at in order to get the player on the cheap. Uh, however, I will say it again, Angus Kinnear did specify that Leeds will be playing around in the... Um, loan part of the transfer window and only looking at permanent moves should an injury or something pop up but the number 10 position a natural number 10 is still something Leeds don't have on the squad as well as an out and out left back Junior Firpo is expected back soon but again with his injury history and form you just don't know what you're going to get from Firpo so they are the two areas that Leeds are expected to look at they probably could do with with another centre back maybe maybe could be asking for a lot and five centre backs. Probably too much to ask for, uh, but the, yeah, that's it. So it's um, it's an interesting one to keep an eye on. This week's going to be fairly interesting. I don't think we'll hear much asked about Finley Gorman as he is a youth player. I don't think Daniel Frack will talk about that situation. Leads him pretty quiet on it as well. Um, and um, let me know anything about Josh Brownhill coming in. I know there was a couple of people very excited in the summer that Josh Brownhill would come in. A hard working player, you know, did very well in this division last year, and on a cheaper fee. Be interesting to see what Leeds do. Right, that's going to be it for me today, folks. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for more Leeds News. Have a great day. Bye.